Make your own Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, Flipkart, Etsy, Airbnb. The stage is set. All you need is our Dokkan multi-vendor solution. Creating a multi-vendor marketplace has never been easier. Achieve your dreams of becoming the next online marketplace giant. Get Dokkan and bring the power of entrepreneurship to your fingertips. www.wedevs.com forward slash Dokkan. Hello and welcome to this year's first ever webinar that's been hosted from WeDevs. I know uh, it's a bit late that we're wishing greetings of New Year uh, so late, but it's better to be not, you know, not to be late than, you know, never. And um, with this, we are also going to bring you the most hottest topic in the WordPress industry that is going to, that's been discussed over i think for a while now um we are going to talk about the word the new wordpress version 5.9 so as we all know the new wordpress version 5.9 has been released yesterday and it is the talk of the town and as the new um COVID situation is rising, we believe we need to go on and we need to keep you guys positive. That's why we thought to discuss about the most uh, talked about topic in the WordPress industry now uh, with our very own WordPress experts. So before that, let me introduce myself. This is Humaira Bin Tomar. I'm the Community Relations Executive from WeDevs and also the host of Coming to Talk with WeDevs. And let's not delay and let's meet our WordPress experts and let's see what they have to say to us. Hello, guys. How are you guys doing? Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I'm doing great. So to our audience, this is these are our very own brand ambassadors all the way from Singapore and Nepal. Um, they have been with us for a long time and these are our WordPress experts. Uh, these are the people who have been actively involved with WordPress. And today, of course, they're going to shed their light on the new WordPress version 5.9. And we know it's been released, but still we believe we need to talk about it. We need to enlighten you guys regarding this new WordPress. That's why we have brought them to you guys so um again before we start to our audience please ask any questions that you want to our wordpress experts we'll make sure to answer um most of the questions as we can as we go on and yeah so Kafle, why don't you introduce yourself and then we're coming to you Hank. Uh, hello everyone uh thank you so much for watching uh, our live i'm sandy Kafle. i'm from beautiful country nepal uh, I was uh, like um, actively working on like uh, this WordPress 5.9 release as well. I'm one of the core contributors this time as well. Uh, like I'm the brand ambassador for the country Nepal and uh, of WeDevs. Uh, as you all know that WeDevs is really a like good company for Dokkan and other beautiful products. Yeah, uh, like if you have any questions um, uh, regarding 5.9, uh, please uh, do let me know. I'll try to answer. All right, thank you for your introduction, Kafle. And now we'll go over to Henry. Henry, tell us a bit about yourself. Hi, everyone. Thanks, um, Vides, for having me today. Um, so I'm uh, I'm from Singapore. I'm the brand ambassador for Vides uh, for Singapore. Uh, I'm also involved in the local WordPress community. Um, I'm also a speaker in you know a lot of uh, word camps and wordpress meetups around asia um i myself i'm a multi-seven figures uh, e-commerce business owner i'm 
also a uh, you know digital marketer uh, digital marketing coach as well uh, and i also have a uh, youtube channel where i share a lot of uh, digital marketing and business uh, keeps online as well yeah your chat uh, your channel is pretty uh, helpful and we love your channel and uh, thank you so much for your introductions um so before we start off i would like to ask both of you um how do you feel about the new wordpress 5.9 um do you think it's useful do you think it's user friendly because there is a lot of you know mixed opinions coming in so give us a little bit of opinion before we start off with the presentations and everything um henry please i'm actually very excited about 5.9 because um i think about two years back um mm -hmm. when uh the gutenberg blog editor was first introduced um i was already kind of seeing what could be happening and we're actually seeing it today where we actually have a full site editing uh, block editor where you can actually use the Gutenberg block editor to you know set up your header your footers to um, do your entire team uh, out itself so i'm really excited about that and also um there, there has been a lot of new um, other small little uh, in, uh interesting features such as you know having uh you know much better uh you know uh widgets that that um uh, you know uh that's being introduced in 5.9 as well so that you can actually um have a better looking website just building to the native uh block editor from WordPress itself. Yeah, of course. Uh, WordPress has surely grown uh, since it's obviously its first release till now. And I think 5.9 has actually brought a huge change. Um, so, I think, you... yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that um, for those of you who, are, who have been using the blog editor, I don't think that this new update is going to um, you know, be be a huge problem for you because you are essentially just using the blog editor for uh, more features, more areas of your website itself, uh, and not just uh, a, a entire uh, change. Because the the change from the classic editor to the you know blog editor is a gradual change. So, um, if you have been using the Gutenberg blog editor, uh, it should not be too difficult for you as we you know as as WordPress continues to develop itself mm -hmm. so Kathy what do you think how do you think oh, 5.9 has you know changed uh, is it is the change not of user friendly or is the was the change needed uh, like I totally agree with Henry like um, those who are not uh, familiar with Gutenberg editor uh, like uh, they will find it quite complex and, and uh, they will uh, get hard to adjust with these changes as well. Now, those uh, who are not familiar with Gutenberg editor, um, like they are having a hard time how to uh, use navigation block that is extremely new from what has happened now. In others block, they are uh, really like confusing. They are really not um, uh, hard to use, but those who are not familiar with uh, Gutenberg editor, probably they will find it uh, hard to use them and the, mm -hmm. another interesting uh, like interesting fact is uh, like uh, classic editor is more than 10 million active installs uh, right now uh, mm -hmm. uh, because of uh, that start we can easily see that how many people are still not familiar with gutenberg editor uh, so wordpress is really changing uh, day by day and uh, mm -hmm. from wordpress 5.0 wordpress is really a uh, um, uh, WordPress really did a huge change in WordPress 5.0 and uh, uh, and in WordPress 5.9. This is another big change. Uh, mm -hmm. So, so like uh, lots of people have their mixed feelings right now. The, um, they are um, uh, finding that uh, using uh, FSC themes, using blocks is is, is some uh, like terrible for them. Some they are having some problem. They are having issue. But but we need to. Uh, adapt those changes and we need to uh, like um, start using it uh, give uh, give comment give feedback give uh, like um, uh, create issues everything so so that we can make wordpress even better 
that's why I, I'm totally agree with, and I'm ready to accept those changes uh, because um, when WordPress uh, gets improved day by day, then we, we will probably have some more areas to work. As of course, I agree with both of you, you know, to change and to accept change is to grow. This is only how we are going to grow. Uh, so let's, you know, let's not be late and let's start off with a presentation. Kafle, why don't you start off with the presentation telling us all about the new updates from the scratch to our audience. And again, to our audience, thank, thank you for joining us. Who uh, It's great. It's a great turnover today. And please do comment below if you have any questions. We are going to start the presentation now and we will be taking your questions. Um, Kafla, I think you need to unmute your uh, mic. I'm audible. Can you hear me? Perfect. Please go on. Okay. Okay. Uh, welcome again. Uh, like um, today, we are going to discuss on WordPress 5.9. What are the features that to uh, we get from WordPress 5.9. Uh, WordPress 5.9 is released um, um, yesterday, uh, probably it's today for uh, some of your area, but like it was a study uh, for some of the area. Uh, uh, like WordPress 5.9 is released few hours before. Uh, probably you are like loving it, uh, you are updating your website, whatever you are doing it, I think you are doing really great time and you are loving it. So, in this presentation, uh, um, I'm going to talk you some features that we are going to get in WordPress 5 at time. Uh, the first one is default 2022 theme. Um, this is really a complete blog based theme. Uh, we also call it full site editing theme. Uh, and like everything uh, with 2022, you can make your entire site using blocks. You don't, you can make um, navigation from block, you can make header, you can make footer, everything using blocks. Uh, we'll talk about um, uh, 2022 uh, later as well. And uh, from WordPress 5.9, you, you will get features about full site editing. What is full site editing? We'll talk about quite a bit later. And global styles, this is another important thing that we are going to be, we, we, we got it in 5.9. Um, uh, there are blocks and patterns. Uh, also, uh, WordPress pattern directory is live in WordPress daughter. And like, uh, you can easily choose the language while logging in your WordPress website. And besides that, there are lots of things that uh, we get in 5.9, like everything uh, uh, related to full site editing. Um, the first one is a default 2022 theme. Uh, with WordPress 5.9, um, we have 2022 default theme. Um, uh, in the previous releases of WordPress, in major releases, uh, we usually have one one default theme. Uh, this time we have 2022 theme. Uh, this is a complete blog based theme. This is full site editing theme. If you are planning to make full site editing theme, uh, uh, this theme can be a good reference for you as well. Uh, there are five uh, patterns category in 2022 uh, theme uh, and 64 different patterns. So you can make any type of website like portfolio, blog, um, whatever. Uh, by using these 64 different patterns. And all the patterns are customizable. So uh, you can easily change the predefined patterns as well and make your own patterns too. So uh, the editing is limitless. Uh, you can make your website on your own design, everything. And uh, it has 11 templates as well, like for home page, single page, single page with different layouts, page, uh, 404, these are the templates. And there are four template parts. Um, uh, a template part means header template part, a footer template parts, 
uh, altogether are four template parts. But, but you can also make your own template part using your G23 theme. Any block theme has this possibility. You can make your own template part. This is a part of full size GG theme. So uh, you can go to WordPress.org uh, and slash themes. And in the latest tab, you will find 2022 theme. If you like install WordPress 5.9, you can also get um, 2022 theme as a default theme. If you update your WordPress, you will also get this theme. So it's time to explore this theme right now. And another important thing um, that um, with WordPress 5.9 is full site editing. Full site editing means um, um, you can um, uh, edit your word, entire, word, entire WordPress site using blocks. Uh, um, in the previous version, you had to install Gutenberg plugin. Uh, but, but from WordPress 5.9, you don't need to install Gutenberg plugin to use this feature. Um, uh, if you are using any WordPress version uh, before 5.9, then you, you still need Gutenberg plugin. But in WordPress, from WordPress 5.9, you don't need um, Gutenberg plugin to get this feature. Uh, and another important thing is that if you want more flexibility, if you need more blocks, if you want more settings, then you can still use Gutenberg plugin with 5.9 and get get more features in it. So if you are uh, if you are planning to make block themes, probably uh, I recommend you to install Gutenberg plugin and, and uh, export it even more. So uh, both 5.9 also work with Guten, uh, uh, Gutenberg plugin and 5.8 also work with Gutenberg plugin. Uh, but with Gutenberg, you will get more settings and uh, blocks uh, in your WordPress dashboard. Uh, with full site editing, uh, you can uh, make your entire site using blocks. Like for example, you can um, add your navigation menu, you can add your site title, you can add your site, uh, site tagline, uh, you can make your footer, you can make um, your body parts, single page, four zero four, everything using blocks. So every single entity, every small entity can be editable with blocks. Uh, in the previous version of WordPress, um, blocks were only supported in um, the part uh, in the widgets area, but from this version, you can use blocks everywhere in your WordPress site. And if you want to learn more about uh, full site editing, then there is one best website, fullsiteediting.com. You can go visit there and you can take the entire course of full site editing. Uh, whenever I uh, uh, need any idea about full site editing, whenever I get confused about full site editing, then I usually visit this site. So this is really a recommended site, fullsiteediting.com. Thank you, Katarina, one of my friends. Uh, like, make this site thank you so much for this wonderful site and wonderful content um and another I important really, uh, uh sure. interrupting you a bit so regarding sure. yes if you go back to the full site editing of mm -hmm. course we know this is the most huge change that 5.9 has brought to mm -hmm. us and it mm -hmm. is blog based um so so to some people it's gonna be easy to some people it's not but uh do you think it's it's, it's a problem that you know in order to access this full site editing the themes also need to be blog based right so doesn't that make a lot of other themes redundant and you know kind of useless which are not blog based no exactly all of the previous themes um mm -hmm. we generally call it the classic theme and um, full site mm -hmm. editing theme we call it block themes classic mm -hmm. themes also work with wordpress 5.9 and uh, okay. the upcoming version as well and mm -hmm. it will work um, um, like currently as you are using, so there are no any problem. But if you mm -hmm. want to use full site editing feature, mm -hmm. then you need to update your previous theme for um, um, template editing or for full site editing. But mm -hmm. uh, if you want to use the complete feature of full site editing, then you need blog based theme. But, but if you want to uh, stay with your previous theme, the classic theme, then you will not get the entire feature of full site editing. I it will I work as it is. Yeah, full site editing is obviously great, but I think this is a bit of a downside for the themes which are not blog based. Is so it's so that so it's not fully accessible. Uh, but I think it's a great, great, uh, uh, great, great update. Um, of course, uh, we also need to be updated in every aspect in order to you know access the five point nine. Yeah, but uh, theme author also need to. Uh... Uh, be more concerned about uh, updating their theme for uh, compatible with full site editing. There are lots of um, uh, like issues and problems that uh, the previous classic themes can't be um, of complete full site editing theme. There might be some reasons, there might be some problem with course, everything. 
but but um, in the meantime uh, 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 theme authors can also update their theme with some possibility of um, full side editing like they can easily add template editing feature like uh, the, the template that they already defined can be edited with um, blocks as well so um, a theme author also need to update their theme uh, time and again for compatible with full side editing and it's still the full side editing is not it's just released and there are lots of things that um, are, that needs to be improved in full side editing as well from my view um, so that's it but um, but um, uh, the previous uh, version of WordPress and this version of WordPress have lots of uh, differences um, uh, a huge change that's why the previous themes will not work complete uh, mm -hmm. for full side editing of course uh, but of course, as we know, you have told us well, a lot of people mm. from the core, the people who are co our contributors in core mm. team has been working uh, relentlessly for bringing us this mm. update. So of course, mm -hmm. it is, uh, it, 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 obviously everything needs improvement, uh, but mm. I think still now it has done, they have done a good, uh, you know, great job. Yeah, yeah. Is that in question? Uh, no, please continue. Okay, okay, thanks. Uh, and another important features that we have, um, we get in WordPress five by nine is global styles. Uh, so you can change the typography, color, and layout of blocks um, uh, throughout the entire site from a single place. You can select the default color for the blocks or create your own color palette as well. Uh, so um, if if there is a predefined color then you can also change that color and make your own color as well. This is one of the powerful features of WordPress 5.9. Uh, if you, uh, from your WordPress dashboard, you can easily go to uh, um, appearance and then in the in the editor section, uh, you will see uh, this type of layout, uh, here is a screenshot. And uh, there is a um, uh, option for global style. If you click there, uh, you will see this type of layout. There is a typography color and layout option. And there is also option for blocks. If you click on the block um, button, then you will see the list of the blocks that you have in your site. Then you can easily change the settings over there and entire um, blocks, the, the particular block settings will be changed in the whole site. For example, if you want to change the color of heading, then you can go inside the block setting and change the color of the heading. If you want to change the font, then you can go into the block setting of heading and change the font size and everything. So this is really a powerful feature uh, with WordPress 5 and 9 and global styles will really a game changer, I guess, in the field of full site editing. So um, I'm just I'm just showing you uh, what are the features that we are getting, but um, uh, you need to go install it and explore it uh, from your end as well. You will get more ideas. And there are lots of uh, videos in YouTube as well. Um, uh, you can check them and you can follow the steps and you can make your own side using full side editing you can give it a try i think we it's time that we take some questions from our audience and there's a lot of sure. questions and henry please nice. uh, participate as well these questions are for both of you um so hamid siddiq wants to uh no, an answer. So, according, uh, he asked, "What did what? Uh, how's it different from the past version of WordPress?" Uh, so, I think he wants to know the basic difference between five point eight and five point nine. Uh, Kathleen, uh, why don't you start? Then we can go for with Henry. Sure. Uh, there's uh, uh, for an indie for a user like if you update your WordPress website, simply update. Then um, I think you'll not get any huge differences in your layout, in your dashboard and everything, because you have uh, your previous uh, WordPress theme, you have um, uh, you, the state of plugin install and everything. But if you want to use full site editing feature, then this WordPress version is a game changer. Um, there are lots of things uh, that is uh, different from previous version of WordPress and this version of WordPress. But, but, uh, but uh, uh, if you are just using your own WordPress website from long time, if you just um, like update it, you will not see any difference. But but still, uh, full site editing, as I said before, global styles, um, like the default 2022 theme are the um, uh, huge changes from the previous version. Uh, Henry, uh, what do you have to say to Hamid regarding this? 
Um, on top of the blog, uh, full site editing features, um, and on top of global styles, there is um, also um, some small, smaller, uh, I would say, you know, quality of life uh, improvement, such as um, whenever you embed links, uh, whenever you anchor links, um, you will be able to see the, uh, you know, the rich URL previews where you actually see, you know, the the link uh, title, uh, the URL itself, the meta, uh, the uh, open graph, uh, you know, image and the open graph uh, descriptions. There'll be, you know, better, um, um, you know, social media, uh, social media icons and buttons that you can use. And I think one of the um, interesting one is, uh, you know, let's say if you, uh, because I think a lot of us, uh, you know, are, you know, at least bilingual here and uh, myself also, I run sites that, uh, you know, are in uh, different languages as well. So when uh, in the login uh, page itself, there is also a language switcher so you can switch between English and, you know, the other languages that you have installed on your WordPress site itself. Mm -hmm. And um, also, I think another big one is the navigation uh, menu, right? You can easily insert your menu right now. Um, I believe you can um, edit your, you can create and edit navigation menu and add them uh, into your site um, just through the uh, full site editing features itself. Thank you guys for answering the question so beautifully. So before we go back to the presentation, we're going to take one more question. Uh, it's a big question uh, from someone called Snowstorm. Uh, so she asks if I'm, he or she actually, uh, asked that if I'm using a theme that already has, been, has a built-in editor for customizing header and footer, will there be conflicts if I update to WordPress 5.9? And would you recommend to use FSE instead. So what do you have to say to that, Kaplan? Uh, actually, um, there is no any problem if uh, here's the update um, that team, uh, update that WordPress uh, in 5.9. So WordPress 5.9 will be compatible with your current team as well. Probably um, uh, your team also already check uh, the uh, complication uh, if arise with 5.9. So you can easily update your WordPress website. But what I recommend is to back up your WordPress website uh, before updating WordPress 5.9 because this is a major update. And um, um, I, I don't know how many plugins you have installed, what are the plugins you have installed, which team you are using. That's why I recommend you to make the backup of your web website first and then update it. And if your team already has header builder and footer builder, then you can uh, uh, still using uh, that header and footer builder. You don't need to use the full site editing feature for that. But if you want to get rid from all that theme um, uh, and um, all that plugins and everything, uh, then you can uh, switch to one of the uh, full side editing team and you start using it but it will be a, a new work for you as well so um, what i recommend for you is uh, uh, first learn what is fsc how to make header how to make footer how to make te templates and template parts everything you need to learn first and then only i recommend you to um, uh, switch with full side editing um, uh, come to your question like if you object wordpress to 5.9 then I don't think uh, anything will happen in your site because your team will work perfectly. Yeah, uh, just to add on uh, to you know what Kepley has uh, mentioned is that you, uh, as with all uh, major updates, right, it's best that you back up your site first, right, back up the site first, and uh, before you you know you update and you know in case there is any plugin conflicts, you can. You know, revert back to your previous backup. Um, uh, and as to your question, would you recommend to use full site editing instead? Uh, personally, what I would say is that if what uh, what you have already designed for your site is working out for you, uh, if you I because you know just to rebuild your site again. Uh, if if you have built uh, using Gutenberg, then uh, the blog editor for your site, then I think it's fine to you know shift over to full site editing because it will not be uh, you know a, 
a, a lot of work to switch over. But if you are using page builders, then uh, it might you you may want to you know continue using the, the the current design of your site first before you you know when and then when you need to update the you know the design of your site then you can consider building a new uh, design on full site editing uh great answer guys thank you and thank you snowstorm for um asking such a nice question i hope they have answered your query uh yes coffee please continue with your presentation okay uh and another thing is that blocks um henry already said navigation block is one of the powerful block there that we have in wordpress 5 and 9. now you can easily make menu um, using navigation block there is also block for email there is also block for heading paragraphs site titles site tagline and there are um, blocks for everything like uh, for like query blocks as well you can easily get your post in a query using query block uh, so and another thing is that you can use this block in anywhere of your site you can just simply um, uh, select the place where you want to add the block you can simply click on plus icon you can um, simply find the block name and insert it there and you can just change the settings and make it functional so uh, blocks is uh, another powerful feature that we have in five and nine uh, blocks also um, there are also blocks in wordpress fiber data as well but um, uh, these blocks are more powerful with hyper nine and you can use it everywhere this is another important thing and patterns uh, i already uh, said that uh, there are 64 different patterns in um, uh, 2022 theme and uh, wordpress core also have its own pattern uh, like a pattern is a group of blocks like um, a pattern can be made uh, using two different blocks two or more different blocks and uh, it will uh, be a reusable layout elements you can use it in different places uh, you can also make your own pattern from the editor as well um, uh, if the available patterns are not um, uh, well enough uh, for your website design and uh, design or layout then you can also make your own pattern and you can also make those patterns and use that patterns to another site as well you can also copy that pattern and uh, migrate to another site also, you can copy the patterns from WordPress patterns directory. WordPress.org recently released the patterns directory. Uh, I'll talk about it quite later. Uh, pattern directory, and you can also copy the patterns from that site and uh, paste it on your site. This is really a uh, uh, good things with WordPress 5.9, and this is super interesting. Um, patterns are uh, ready-made layout, ready-made uh, blocks that you can use on your page, post, everywhere in your site. And this is the pattern directory, wordpress.org uh, slash patterns. If you visit this page, you will find 81 different patterns in this directory. Uh, while I was making this slide, uh, there, there were around 81 different patterns in the directory. You can simply visit this page. You can uh, check the design of the patterns, and you can find the patterns and copy that patterns and use in your site. This is one of the best features that we have with WordPress 5.9 like um if you have if you need um any patterns that is not available in pattern directory as well you can also make from your own web website so you can you can uh, do whatever you want in your dashboard now and henry already mentioned this on um, thing uh choose language during login this is another uh, important feature that we have with wordpress 5.9 uh, if your wordpress website has multiple languages um, um, uh, in your dashboard, then um, uh, while login, uh, your um, visitors, uh, your um, your users, or your author, user, whatever uh, they can, they want to log in. They can choose the language, their preferred language, and uh, they can log in with their own language. So um, this is another uh, good features that we get with WordPress Five Nine. Uh, and uh, uh, you might have questions like um, how to make your own block theme, like how to make a full site editing theme. Um, while making this slide, there are there were around 45 blocks theme in the directory, and they are the good reference for you. You can simply download one of the theme from the directory and check the code, use it, and you can also try to make uh, that block theme for your own. And another thing is that default 2023 theme is the best example of block theme. Uh, 
uh, it is available in WordPress repository now. You can use it, you can see the code, and you can try to make it um, like that. And if you are also looking for another different uh, way of um, making block theme, uh, probably you know about underscores of our uh, classic uh, theme, uh, the skeleton theme for classic theme. Uh, there is also a block theme generator. Uh, if you visit fullsiteediting.com slash block theme generator, you can easily uh, download a uh, block theme and then you can customize uh, that block theme and submit it in WordPress.org or you, uh, you can use for your own website. You can simply uh, visit that link. You can give the name of uh, the block theme. You can give the name of WordPress.org username, and then you can easily download the block theme, start a block theme, and you are ready to go. Is there any question that uh, I need to address? Yes, actually, uh, today Please. we have a lot of questions coming in. Nice. Uh, nice. So let's actually start off with uh, Umesh. Kim, uh, I if I am pronouncing it right. So Umesh, mm. thank you for your question. He says he's from Nepal. Hey, mm. uh, theme preview option disappears on appearance theme section. It will be available in the upcoming uh, version or it's completely disabled from 5.9. So what do you have to say to that? Uh, I think it's only disabled for uh, 2020 theme, I guess. Uh, but um... I haven't said that uh, with other theme, but I think uh, it's only disabled with WordPress. Uh, sorry, 2022 theme. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, so, uh, yeah. So, like, uh, he wants to know if it's completely gone, but do you think it's going to come back again? I don't think, like, it's gone. I think um, that there, there was some communication regarding the preview button. I, I think uh, he's uh, talking about uh, the preview button in the WordPress dashboard. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think he's talking about preview button in WordPress.org. Um, okay. uh, the preview button um, is disabled only for block themes, I guess. OK. So let's take another question. And Henry, please participate in this one. Um, this is a question that I also had. Uh, so the question is from Rajiv Rawat. He asked, will the FSE be able to eliminate the user use of Elementor in building website? So Henry, please, what do you think about this? Um, I think for Elementor, because um, uh, WordPress by itself is you know, an open source community contributed um, um, uh, tool, uh, whereas for Elementor, right, they are a for-profit uh, business, so they do have a dedicated team to, uh, you know, create the elements that that you know uh, users want, right? Whereas for for blog editor, um, it's it's what we contribute to the WordPress uh, core itself. So I would say that it depends on what kind of Features you will need on your website. Um, if you if if your needs are, are something that you know the uh, full site editing is able to provide you with, then there there may not be a need for you to actually make use of Elementor. Um, and also another another um, uh, something else to consider is is also if you are comfortable with. Elementor, then you know switching over to full site editing may you know you got to spend some time to to you know relearn and familiarize yourself uh, with how full site editing works. So I think um, maybe uh, a little bit more ahead before we can start to see that people are going to be switching over to full site editing instead of uh, staying with Elementor. I'm um, sorry, I think Humara, you forgot to unmute yourself. <laughs> we can't hear you. <laughs> sorry, guys, it happens. It's like a lot of muting and unmuting going on. <laughs> so thank you, Henry, for your wonderful answer. So there is another question uh, directed at Kakle. Of course, Henry, you are more than welcome to participate. Uh, it says, hey, Kakle, do you think full site editing would affect the popularity of page builder plugins or it would take the time to mature up? I think it's 
it's kind of a similar question with the previous one. Only the previous one was based on Elementor. Yeah. What do you have yeah. to say? Uh, in addition to like Henry answer, um, uh, the answer is quite similar with uh, the previous one. Uh, the use of Elementor and the use of full side editing seems quite different this uh, right now. If you are familiar with Elementor and if you are happy using it, we recommend you to uh, keep using Elementor rather than switching with full side editing right now. Full side editing feature is still under development and there are lots of things that is coming in the future. We know that full site editing has lots and lots of features and they need to be matured first. Like we need to get feedback from users. What are the uh, like issues they are facing? What are the possibility that we can improve? Because other page builder already created their own history for uh, more than four or five years at least. But full site editing is still immature, uh, at least for me. And someday I can see that full site editing will complete um, uh, will be the best alternative for page builder as well right now if you are uh, using elementor for making simple type of pages simple website then uh, it's already a full side editing is like alternative best alternative for you but if you have lots and lots of features and if you have using your using elementor for a few site then uh, like switching right now to full side editing will be a tedious task for you but but as I said before, first learn full side editing, uh, and surely full side editing will replace other page builder. I'm sure that, but it will take time. Again, yeah, before I we, agree. of course, yeah. yeah, I agree too. Uh, it's of course you know dynamic and WordPress. We are going to take the feedback, and WordPress is continuously going to change. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be perfect, but again, uh, WordPress has brought revolutionary changes for you guys. Uh, yeah, uh, I'd like to add one thing over. I'd like to add one thing over here that page builders are built on the base of WordPress. Uh, you need to know that uh, because all the page builders are uh, built based on WordPress, but full site editing is WordPress. That's why, um, and there are lots and lots of responsibility. There are millions of websites using WordPress, but uh, that's why WordPress can't make a huge changes like uh, Elementor or other page builders in a single sort because they need to think about the backward compatibility they need to think about uh, users uh, perspective they need to make the like everything um, uh, then they need to think about everything but uh, the page builder can um, do whatever they want because they are the like single company and they are running few millions of websites another thing is that what full site editing will surely replace other page builders because WordPress is built by community and there are thousands of contributors uh, like working on it and they are giving their feedback and everything but but the page builders are just run by few people few uh, like staffs and employees and 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 um, that's why uh, full site editing can be the best um, like will be the a uh, good alternative for other page builders so what i can uh, request you suggest you is to start uh, learning full site editing and uh, get used to in, uh, used to it and you will you will be the one uh, who will uh, think that oh full site editing is the best alternative for my page builder yeah i i do agree with that in fact um i would say that if uh if you have some uh if you are planning to build a website that uh, you uh, you may want to consider using full site editing for that so that you know you can familiarize yourself and later on uh, as full site editing becomes more mature you can uh, you know make use of that uh, to build much more powerful websites with full site editing yeah. Uh, again, thank you, boys, for your answers. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I think my presentation, like, yes, uh, I, I think I stopped sharing. Okay. Uh, it was a great presentation. Thank you, Kafle. Um, again, we have a lot of questions flowing in. Uh, there is uh, another person who's asking about full side editing. Everybody's really concerned. Again, I want both of you to participate. Hey, Kafle, do you think? um full side editing would affect the popularity of page builder plugins or it would take more i think we took this question um let's move on to another question 
Uh, okay, so Mazid al Islam has to say is will the full site editing help the end users to make a website using any default theme? Uh, please uh, answer any of you. Uh, you have to use uh, teams that are you know full site editing compatible uh, right now. So not uh, not not any teams can work with full site editing at the moment. So I think Kafle has answered this question before. We also have discussed this before. Uh, it needs to be compatible, of course, with full site editing FSE. Then only you can use the deep theme. Um, I think um, uh, you need to first, you know, uh, see which themes are, you know, compatible with FSE, and then go ahead with it. Um, another question that we have. Uh, from Tujia Tamgard. Uh, she asked, does the full side editing mean you can edit also book on pages easier? <laughs> does, do you anyone do you want to answer to that? Maybe Kathleen, you can take this question. <laughs> uh, yeah. If uh, Dokan plugin uh, enable full side editing features, like temporary editing features, then you can easily edit the pages. But for now, you can do that. OK, thank you for your question. Because, yeah, I hope you uh, got the answer. Um, a lot of questions flowing in today, but I would like to ask, uh, ask you guys a few questions from my end. And feel free to answer. Um, uh, first of all, I would like to know is, um, we know um that wordpress you know 5.9 has brought a new a lot of new updates so do you think for a fresh user uh a person who is just being introduced to wordpress is this new interface easy for them um Please i've been you. using i've been using blog editor for uh, i think two two to three years right now so um, I'm comfortable using Block Editor. Um, I think you need you need to spend a little bit of time to kind of understand the interface a little bit, and you know how how things work in the Block Editor. Um, it's not it's not difficult to understand. I mean, if you are using other page builders, uh, the there is some similarities in there. Right. I mean, if you whether you use WordPress, you, maybe you don't use WordPress and you're switching over to WordPress, uh, you may have used some kind of uh, you know pitch building, uh, you know web design tools, and they kind of work in similar logic. So um, it should not take you too much time to understand how they work. That's that's what I I can say um, on. Let's say when you compare maybe a uh, block editor with uh, you know a page builder, right? Uh, page builders um, would have a little bit more customizability, but with block editor itself, uh, I think in a way it is a lot easier to use for a you know a beginner because there is less um, you know options uh, to confuse you as to you know how to start building a, a site so i would say that in fact good uh, the, the block editor is actually easier to use uh, than uh, page editors as well i'm sorry page builders as well yeah uh, let me do one more thing those who are new with wordpress i think they will uh, be more familiar with this editor because they had no idea how the previous editor was like and how it was how the what was the classic editor and everything so those who are using wordpress since long they are having hard time to adapt the changes like they were so much familiar with classic editor before and when the gutenberg was introduced they were something like oh what's that this is real they are like discussing and like they are not getting it easily because and, accepting changes are really hard and and wordpress is changing uh, so rapidly because we have classic editor then uh, uh, gutenberg is introduced and the whole back end was something 
so totally different uh the, the yeah. previous class previous classic editor was like a uh, word ms word they can easily manage like like a simple uh, like yeah. because, because wordpress wordpress came uh from a uh, blogging kind of platform yeah blogging uh, platform exactly that's why and, the classic editor is the way it is but you know wordpress is evolving as well so that's why we're moving into the blog editor yeah, yeah. Um, uh, there was a tweet uh, from me and one of the WordPress user who has been using WordPress since long. Like uh, he already wrote fifty thousand plus blog posts in WordPress and is still using Classic Editor. And he he was saying uh, a big disagreement uh, with the uh, Gutenberg Editor because uh, he was saying that it's it's really disgusting. Um, uh, the recent data says that Classic Editor is more than ten million active in wordpress website it means that we can easily see how much people are not familiar with gutenberg editor but those who are not familiar with gutenberg editor they will obviously having hard time with full site editing because full site editing is the advanced form of gutenberg uh, um, if you are not able to use the uh, gutenberg editor in their back end then how they can use the blocks in the entire site that is another big question but 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 if we can't uh ready to accept those changes then the technology can't stay the same in the same pace the technology is uh, really rapid in, in a rapid growth and we need to adapt those changes probably wordpress is changing quite faster than other platform but i think it's still good because um, wordpress is creating opportunity for developers if the wordpress was still in classic editor then uh, like uh, Plugin developer um, were not able to make blocks because there are lots of block plugin and they are making a good market. The developers who are uh, uh, like working as a WordPress developer, they also have huge market for making blocks and updating their WordPress website, their client WordPress website. So whenever uh, the technology gets changes, uh, the opportunity will grow. That's why WordPress is also growing. And, and if you are just a WordPress user, uh, what I can suggest you is that you can stay on your uh, like a comfort zone if you are familiar with classic user you can keep using it if you are familiar with gutenberg you can keep using it if you are familiar with other page builders you can using it because wordpress uh like uh, supports um like major compatibility with previous version as well so you don't need to worry about that and uh, with uh, full site editing there will no any drastic change for your website it will remain as it is uh, but those who want to explore even more, those who want to uh, edit their template from their own, those who want to make WordPress themes, but they don't know how to code, they can easily make their themes as well. That is what WordPress is doing. For example, if you want to change the navigation menu and if you are not familiar with code, then you need to find the developer. Hey, developer, this, this, this. But now you can simply go in your WordPress site and you can simply click and change the navigation menu. That, that is what WordPress is doing. And WordPress is trying to make uh, like better version for everyone. Yeah, definitely um, agrees, uh, Cat Player, because um, with, with Block Editor, I think that it opens up a lot more options for us. Uh, a lot more plugin developers are, you know, building more blocks for us that we can, you know, uh, create more uh, additional functionalities with our website that a classic editor wasn't able to give us. And now with full site editing, you know, the, the, you know, the doors are even wider right now, open much, much wider. There's a lot more, uh, you know, uh, possibilities with WordPress today, rather than just uh, sticking with the classic editor. But of course, like Kepler says, uh, you know, if, if you're not ready to, you're still stuck with a uh, classic editor and you're fine with that, you know, that's, that's still okay, right? That's still okay. We, you know, WordPress is not uh, leaving you up as well, but um, it will be good if you can, you know, uh, move along with uh, where WordPress is moving towards. Thank you guys for your wonderful opinion. Um, we yeah, for have... me, like... Okay, let's take one question. We have with us Anthony, uh, our ambassador from um, Australia. He, uh, you know, wished us Happy Australia Day. Happy Australia Day to you too, Anthony. 
And he also has brought a question for us today. Uh, he asked if Dokan has been tested with 5.9. So to answer your question, Anthony, no, not, uh, not of yet, but we will be testing it in our next release, which is going to be soon. We're going to test it and hopefully it will be all compatible. So yeah, thank yeah. you. I just I just WordPress uh, like mm -hmm. Dokan plugin with WordPress five point nine. But but um, just if uh, if, if uh, anything issue arises or not, if there are any error or not, warning or not, something like that, it was it was just a general test from my side and it was working fine. Um, so another question for you guys. I know five point nine just released. It released literally yesterday. Hmm. So, um, do you think, um, you know, is there any updates that you would like to see in the next WordPress, uh, you know, release uh, from your side? Is there any feature that you would like to see, um, Henry? Um, I think more more blocks, uh, more blocks would be great. More blocks would be great. I think that. Um, I don't think that there is any uh, tab blocks right now. Um, I think that there are accordion blocks. Uh, you know, adding more blocks will uh, natively uh, will help us to you know not be adding additional blocks uh, from the party developers as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And what about you, Kafle? Do you what are the new features uh, I, that you expect? I don't, uh, to be to be honest, I don't want to see more features right now. I want mm -hmm. to see full site editing should be stable first. Like um, we are getting lots and lots of uh, like um, dissatisfaction from users, even from my friends, even from my colleagues mm -hmm. as well. So at first, I just want to see full site editing should be stable. Then, as Henry said, we love to see more blocks, like blocks for slider, block for equidian, uh, um, some um, and uh, more blocks um, uh, uh, from the core. But at first, I want to see uh, full side editing should be stable because there are lots of tiny, tiny issues that we need to fix. Uh, great suggestion, guys. So I think uh, we will be, you know, stopping our uh, question answer for now. Yeah. But I have a surprise session for you guys, and I didn't tell it to yeah. you guys. I will be having a rapid fire round for both of you guys now. So. Oh. If you can answer, it's fine, or else I'm going to give you the answers. And to our audience, you can also participate. And anyone who's giving the most answers, we have a surprise for you guys. So Kafle and Henry, are you guys ready? You guys have to be very fast, OK? These are, okay. don't worry. Don't worry. These are going to be very basic <laughs> WordPress question answers. Uh, if you guys can answer, it's fine. If you guys can, that's fine also. Okay. And to our audience, please participate in the comment section. So we will start now. Uh, okay. Let me just, okay. So number one question is, when was WordPress created? Any idea? Sorry? When was WordPress created? The date uh, the, and also the year. Oh, oh! I'm Any sorry. Two thousand, two thousand three. The uh, the, uh, May, the the year is correct. May. May. No. No, but you guys got it uh, almost correct. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I think I'm gonna give this to Kafle because he mm. guessed it almost correct. Mm. It mm -hmm. is two thousand three, twenty seventh of May. So yeah, this yeah, sorry, 20 to or 20 minus. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> no, it's completely fine. This goes to Kafle. Mm -hmm. The next question is, uh, who's the father of WordPress? I think we can, we all know that. Mike who's the Mike, father of WordPress? And Mike Little. Matt, founder? Uh, it's Matt Malenweg. So I think yeah. uh, since Kafle said Mike Little as well, I'm going to give it to Henry. So it's one on one, guys. <laughs> You, you still have time to catch up. So um, the next question is, what was the first version of WordPress that was released? What was the first ever version that was released to the people? 
Um, no, Henry. He's looking for a name. <laughs> uh, I think he's looking for a name. My, mm. it's probably by um one of the uh, musician name after a, a musician again. Yeah, but that wasn't probably released to the people. The version that was released to the people was zero point seven. So you guys oh. were close, I guess. <laughs> so the next question that I have for you guys, and this is pretty easy, which database is used in WordPress? My skill. Good. So um Catholic you, Henry one. So <laughs> Um, the next question is, which licensing authority is responsible for WordPress? GPL? Yep, general public license. Good job, Kafle. Uh, the next question that we have is, what programming language is WordPress written in? Now, like PSP, JS. Yeah, so PHP is the basic uh, WordPress. Uh, that is yeah, the basic language of WordPress. Good job. And the last question today we have is, I think we all know this, which company owns WordPress.com? Automatic. Automatic. Automatic, yeah. So good job, guys. Uh, so I think today's rapid fires winner is Kathleen. Congratulations, Kathle, and I see a lot of people, you know, participating in the, you know, comment section as well. We will get back to you soon. And thank you, guys. Today comes the end of our session. Thank you so much for shedding your expert light on WordPress version 5.9. It was a great session, and you know, it was very interactive. And uh, thank you so much. And to our audience, thank you for participating. And is there an ending note that you would like to give to our audience? Kathleen. Mm, thank you so much for uh, watching and listening to us. Um, uh, WordPress 5.9 is available. Um, you can download it from WordPress.org and you can install it on your locally or in your in your like server as well uh, check it try it and if you find any box if you find any issues and if you find any room for the improvement then like uh, do let us know uh, you can also make uh, tickets in uh, make.wordpress.org slash score you can go over there you can um, like make the tickets and and, and um, what is the things that you want to see what is the things we, we need to improve uh, make the tickets over there and make WordPress even better. And WordPress is uh, um, developed from all of the contributors from all around the globe. So you can be one of the contributors for WordPress and keep contributing and make WordPress even better. Henry, if you yeah. have something to tell our audience, give me one second, guys. I'll come back. And Henry, please sure. go on with the ending note. Sure. Um, I think that uh, 5.9 is a is yet another major milestone for WordPress. And um, I think that, you know, everyone should definitely try it out. Um, if you have a new site that you are planning to build, uh, you know, definitely make use of uh, full site editing and, uh, you know, see what you can build with the full site editing features. And, you know, because it's all, WordPress is, is you know, it's all about community contributions. Uh, you know, we have people like, Kathleen and a lot of other, uh, you know, direct uh, WordPress contributors. I myself am a user. Um, I like Kathleen, right? Um, but it is also, um, you know, uh, as a community, we, you know, even for people like myself as a as a common user of WordPress, uh, we can help, uh, you know, make uh, WordPress better by using it and, you know, letting the WordPress team know how they can uh with their future releases as well thank you uh guys for your wonderful ending notes and to my audience thank you again for joining and keeping your patience and listening to this session and participating in this session it means a lot to us and again we know the COVID is increasing again by lips and bounds uh 
you guys need to stay safe out there uh, because health is wealth. Health comes first. And we will be trying to keep you guys as positive as possible by bringing in new webinars for you guys. So do keep, on, uh, keep an eye on our WeDevs page and you, WeDevs uh, YouTube channel. Do subscribe. We bring in great webinars for you guys every now and then with our very own brand ambassadors, very talented brand ambassadors who has been with us for a long time, who will be shedding their uh, expert opinions on different things and helping you guys out. Uh, so today we are signing off. Um, saying goodbye to you all. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next webinar. Bye bye for now. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. See you. Bye bye. See you.